20 minutes is a long journey. I didn't leak anything. Streamers are often rewarded with more views for outlandish behavior, leading to them increasing their antics for more clicks. But what happens when it's not an act? Justin Minx, real name Rebecca, is an Irish-born Twitch streamer living in California. She began her career in the 2010s and quickly made a name for herself collaborating with many other well-known influencers. Her popularity only increased when she participated in the first ever Creator Clash boxing event in 2022, as she won not just the fights, but thousands of new eyes on her content. Minx is perhaps best known for her over-the-top comedic antics on stream, many of which have been done under the influence of alcohol. While this behavior made the online personality famous, with many perceiving it as merely a bit at first, it has also gotten her into a significant amount of trouble over the years. This has led many to wonder if it has done more to harm her career rather than help it. Rebecca's first major bout with controversy came in December of 2020, when she was temporarily suspended from Twitch. The reason for this was because she repeatedly said words like virgin, simp, and incel, which had recently been banned from the site's terms of service. According to the streamer, she had not realized the new rule had been enacted yet. Minx was suspended for a second week a little over a year later in February of 2022, this time for using the word cracker. Following this, she was contacted by Twitch, who informed her that another violation of their rules would result in a permanent ban. As we all know, uh, this is my second Twitch ban, meaning, and after having a talk with Twitch, my third one will be permanent. Which is, uh, terrifying. Terrifying. Despite Rebecca's nonchalant tweets regarding the situation, it was obvious from her video that this ordeal was weighing heavily on her mental health. Most onlookers agreed that Twitch was overreacting to some very minor offenses, and thus welcomed Minx back with open arms when she returned a few days later. And she decided to make a spectacle out of her first broadcast following her ban, as she performed a skit in which she pretended to be arrested by Twitch. This seemed to mark something of a turning point. If controversy was going to follow Minx around, she would stop trying to fight it. Like many big creators in her sphere of the internet, Minx has been included in multiple influencer houses throughout the years. Essentially, these are large homes in which multiple online celebrities will live together in order to collaborate. On June 6, 2022, the house Minx was staying in at the time was visited by a group of TikTokers, who approached the gate and asked to be let inside. According to them, they had previously occupied the home and wanted to take a look around. When their request was denied though, they continued asking. The situation only escalated from there as Minx and a few of her friends stepped out onto the balcony in order to argue with the uninvited guests. Eventually, as words proved to be ineffective, Rebecca chose to spit on them instead. I didn't spit at them at first. What I did was I spat on like right beside Andrea's car as a more disrespect thing okay it's like it did not land on them it did not touch them because they were still in our gate i spat out so we have a door and we have a gate i spat outside the gate so they were nowhere yeah it was a warning shot it was a fucking warning shot but this only made matters worse as the arguing continued escalating to the point where one of the trespassers hurled a rock which narrowly avoided striking minx the streamer and her friends angrily went downstairs to confront their attackers at which point they finally decided to leave a day later minx decided to publicly name her assailant as a tiktok user by the name of ace of spades soon after this another tiktoker by the name of reagan corsi who was also reportedly involved in the incident released a series of now deleted videos giving her side of what happened. According to her, she and her friends had been nothing but polite and courteous, and it was actually Minx who was the aggressor. She comes out on the patio and she starts yelling at us. Obviously, we were caught off guard because we were just having a civil, normal conversation with two people that were in front of us at the door. Those two guys also said that they didn't live there and that they needed to talk to someone, but it probably would be cool. They just needed to make sure they asked before they let us in. So then a girl comes outside, she's wearing a dress, she's barefoot, and she starts yelling slurs at my friends. She says, like, y'all need to get the f out of here, y'all are cunts, etc. She continues yelling slurs, and then she spits on one of my friends, or towards one of my friends, I don't know if it actually hit them. That's kind of where all s*** kind of broke loose. 
which again, I had no part in. I was just there. Of course, Minx fought back against this version of events, more or less reiterating the story she had told earlier, and the drama slowly fizzled out. This was simply another early example of Justin Minx's boisterous personality landing her in trouble, or at least trouble finding her. And it would certainly not be the last. Only a few days later, on June 16th, Rebecca posted a series of images to her Twitter account showing her legs incredibly bruised, bloody, and scraped up. She provided no further details, prompting an incredibly worried response from her viewers who wondered what happened. The streamer finally elaborated on Twitch the following day. Apparently, after a day of training for Creator Clash, she and a few friends wanted to unwind and drink by the pool. Later on in the evening, the group decided to take a quick hike in the hills behind their home. In her inebriated state though, Minx found this task surprisingly difficult. The trouble started when she tripped and fell directly into a cactus patch, but that is not where the majority of her injuries came from. No, that happened later, when the pack of influencers spotted an animal which some of them believed to be a mountain lion at first glance. Most people upon seeing something like this would choose to quickly and quietly leave the area but rebecca had a different idea i charge at the animal because it's always fight or flight i miss the animal i only got one injury by the animal and it's the one uh there's like one certain bite that you can see i only got one injury but no it doesn't have rabies it's fine once again, Minx's behavior had landed her in trouble, with this instance being partially tied to alcohol consumption. But while the only person harmed in this situation was herself, that would not be true in every case. In August of 2022, Minx took part in the Frat Party Stream, a collaborative event in which an all-female group of Twitch influencers attended a social gathering live on air. For pretty much the entire night, some viewers noticed strange behavior that Minx was exhibiting. She appeared to be on edge and treated her fellow partygoers gruffly. At a certain point, during an innocent game of beer pong, Rebecca sprinted over without reason and hurled herself onto the table. She went on the strats and for a break and then for it! Now what are you gonna do? Ooh, I'm gonna have to get the camera operator was quickly sent away to focus on some of the other attendees. While they awkwardly tried to move on as if nothing had happened, the people watching at home were adamant of finding out more information. In fact, screenshots were taken of the chat in the immediate aftermath of Minx's outbursts, showing the sheer number of people getting timed out simply for asking about it. In the background, some audience members claimed to have seen QT Cinderella, one of the event's organizers, scolding Rebecca for her behavior, finally resulting in the Irish streamer leaving the party early. While this incident was not spoken about much publicly by those involved, it sowed the seeds of conflict that would grow larger over time but Minx would become embroiled in even more drama before this came to fruition. In September, a streamer by the name of Adriana Lee came forward with a series of very serious allegations against a fellow creator by the name of Slick. The details of this are another rabbit hole entirely. The only aspect relevant to our purposes is that Slick was good friends with Justin Minx, who decided to defend him in any way she could think of. However, her response did nothing to help matters. Rebecca went on stream and accused Adriana of lying, even laughing while watching the alleged victim's account of her experiences. I made one of the biggest <laughs> girl streamers. Adriana is not the best option to trust. And you are? No, I'm telling you not to trust me either. Hello? I've literally said any opinion I say is literally because I'm manic. But I believe what my brain thinks is right. And I will continue to believe that. This reaction, as well as Minx's preemptive defense of her actions by blaming her manic tendencies, did not go over well with the internet at large. It was shortly after this disastrous broadcast that another streamer named Toxic Support, otherwise known as Angel, released a twit longer about an experience she had had with Rebecca back in 2018. Angel had actually already shared this story a couple years prior, but at that time had not revealed anyone's identities. This time around though, she felt a responsibility to mention Minx by name due to her recent behavior towards Adriana Lee. According to Angel's story, she and a friend had been invited to a party at Rebecca's Airbnb during TwitchCon 2018. 
After the night went on and all those in attendance became increasingly inebriated, the group began playing drinking games that required the players to strip. Eventually, they moved on to playing Truth or Dare, resulting in Angel and her friends being asked to remove even more clothing. When the young streamer refused, she was allegedly pressured and shamed by the male guests of the party to go through with the dare until she finally left. It's important to note that, according to the story, Minx was not involved during this point in the night. However, since she was the one hosting the party, Angel decided to reach out to her the following day in order to talk about what had happened. The Irish content creator was reportedly very kind and understanding at first, promising to go speak to the offending male partygoers on Angel's behalf. But that attitude changed just a few hours later, as Minx started sending aggressive messages trying to get toxic support not to go public with her account. When Angel posted her 2020 twit longer, Rebecca reached out to her once again. At first, she attempted to downplay her knowledge of what had happened that night, and how Angel had been affected. When the alleged victim pushed back on this, though, Minx's tone shifted to what toxic support perceived to be threats of blackmail, stating, quote, Bro, I hate cancel culture, and I know you have family to support, and I don't want this affecting anyone's livelihood. When all of this went public, the internet's perception of just a minx hit an all-time low, as many people now viewed her as a manipulative defender of abusers. She had never been one to remain quiet about this sort of thing in the past, so onlookers waited eagerly to see what her response to all this would be. When an update was made, though, it was not what anyone expected. After a couple days of silence, a message was posted to Minx's Twitter account offering insight about what was happening behind the scenes. Notably, this entire statement was written in the third person, implying someone else had been given access to her social media. Apparently, Rebecca's mental health had taken a sharp decline in the days prior, and thus she had been admitted to a psychiatric hospital in order to receive care. While this post made no mention of the allegations against Minx, it seemed to imply that her behavior was the result of these manic episodes. Just a Minx returned to the internet around a week later, starting up a new live stream seemingly immediately after she got home from the mental health facility. This was done against the recommendation of her friends and colleagues, whom Minx had promised that she would stay away from the internet for a while. Very long story. I shouldn't be live right now, so in advance, I do want to apologize to my org. I also do want to apologize for everyone that advised me not to stream. Then don't be? No, because there is an apology f***ing owed. Do I feel bad? Yeah. I have been advised to do a YouTube apology video talking about it or writing a script, which I probably should have done because knowing me, I will fuck up something here. So I do want to apologize because I am going on a hike with a lot of people that help me out tomorrow and I promised them I won't stream, but I did any mini mini mo and I watched a video and I want to do it. Shout out Bio Blacks. That was a really good video. Rebecca made several apologies for her actions during this broadcast, specifically toward Adriana Lee, who she now believed had been telling the truth about her allegations against Slick. During the stream, Minx was constantly being contacted by her friends and mods, all of whom were heavily advising her to log off and stop talking. But these requests were refused. Everything's gonna be okay, but I need you to end stream. New idea. What? I. Can you turn off emote on me? People can s*** on me right now. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. No, I won't end. Of course, she did eventually end the stream, and the VOD was deleted not long after. Viewers began to wonder if her hospital stay had done Minx any good, since she still appeared to be very mentally unwell. A few days later, the streamer started a new broadcast in which she appeared much more rational and level-headed, in order to issue a blanket apology for everyone she had wronged. Saying, like, sorry isn't enough, but there's not really anything else that I can do to fix it. So I just, before we move on into streaming and going back to me, I do apologize for everything there. Interestingly, this was recorded in a new location, not the bedroom Rebecca had been streaming from the past few years. While some viewers were confused by this, it would be a little while longer until they received an explanation. On November 3rd, 2022, Minx tweeted that the home she was staying in at the time had been broken into the night before. She continued posting updates throughout the day, showing that the perpetrators had entered the house by smashing the window with the security camera, and the other surveillance devices had recorded footage of two men breaking in. 
While this would obviously all be traumatic enough on its own, the most disturbing revelation came when it was discovered who exactly had committed the act. According to Rebecca, someone had been living underneath the house without her knowledge for quite a while. You see, on the night that the abode was broken into, Rebecca's cat also went missing. While investigating the crawl space in order to find her pets, she and her friends stumbled upon multiple empty bottles of alcohol as well as a few sleeping bags. Viewers immediately expressed both concern and confusion, wondering how something like this could happen in a large streamer house. But Mink soon stepped in to offer a simple explanation. She no longer lived in a streamer house. According to her, she had been kicked out of the home she was staying in, the Optic House, merely 24 hours before being released from the psych ward, and had been moving between Airbnb Bs ever since. There was a lot of confusion surrounding why exactly this had happened, although many speculated that Rebecca's stream immediately after leaving the facility, while maybe not being the leading cause, could have at least been the final straw. To make matters worse, following the break-in, Minx claimed Airbnb refused to refund her payment on the house, and her account had been banned from renting homes within a certain radius. Clearly, Rebecca was in an increasingly stressful situation, and was going to cope with it the only way she knew how. Alcohol. On February 26, 2023, she became so drunk on stream that it became difficult for her to even string words together properly. This incident resulted in a Twitch representative reaching out to Minx, telling her that her account would be receiving another week-long suspension, her first ban from the site in over a year. If Rebecca's drinking had been a problem before, it seemed to be getting her into even more trouble now, and it would only continue to do so as time went on. In March, Justin Minx made plans to attend the second annual Streamer Awards, a show designed to celebrate the achievements of Twitch content creators. She contacted her old friend and the founder of the event, QT Cinderella, real name Blair, and informed her that she had purchased seats for the balcony. While the two had once been incredibly close with one another, their relationship had become strained in recent times. But Blair, wanting to give Minx another chance to change her ways, made an offer. She could sit in the front with all the other big streamers and attend the after party on the condition that she would not have one drop of alcohol. Rebecca agreed, and the plans were made, but it soon appeared that Minx was unable to keep her promise. During the party, she had become incredibly inebriated, acting as a nuisance to her fellow party goers and a liability to her host. I get to the party, um, she's wasted. Uh, she is getting escorted out by security because she's trying to throw heaters into the pool. And um, then... Which is bad. Is a bad thing. Yeah. yeah. Heaters? You. The big so the, propane. The big gas heaters. Like the ones that are like like seven feet, eight feet They're tall. trying to put those in the pool? I heard she was trying to throw Saikuno in the pool. Yeah. And people she was trying to run Which in the pool. is a bad thing. Also bad. Also bad. Thing. Also bad. After the fact, Minx attempted to downplay the situation jokingly on Twitter, which only served to anger Blair further. In addition, Rebecca also tried to argue that going limp was a result of a seizure, not an act of defiance against the party security. She even posted an image of herself in the hospital as proof of her claim. But QT Cinderella once again pushed back against this, stating that the picture actually showed Minx receiving an IV drip after becoming overly intoxicated. Some people criticized Blair for making such a public spectacle out of this situation, but she claimed that she had tried everything in her power to make Minx change her ways in private, but to no avail. Not long after this incident, Rebecca decided to return home to Ireland in order to spend some more time with her family. However, this seems to have not been the relaxing holiday it may have sounded like. During the stream, she got into an argument which resulted in some very serious allegations being made against her sister. Why are you lying? This all Why? happened Why? because Why? Both of yours? Because no. your boyfriend is underage! What? Yeah! What? That's not true! Oh no! You That's not true! Oh no! You That's not true! You like fucking little you man! It. It's you, not you don't like that? This clip quickly made the rounds on Twitter, as people began wondering what in the world was going on in Minx's family. For her part, Rebecca heavily downplayed the situation, claiming that this is just what arguments were like in Irish households and that Americans were quote-unquote soft. Apparently, or at least according to Minx, it's very common to accuse loved ones of felony offenses. When people asked if the allegations had any merits, Rebecca flatly stated no. 
but even if she claimed that everything in her life was fine, that did not stop the internet from speculating. In June, screenshots were posted from a recent Just a Mink stream in which she appeared to have two black eyes, a broken nose, and a severely scraped knee. Once again, theories began to spread, with many people wondering if the cause was related either to her drinking or family troubles. But Minx was quick to step in and inform everyone that her injuries were actually just the result of boxing training. While this explanation was enough for some people, others didn't buy it. Nevertheless, this was the story Rebecca stuck with publicly as she moved on with her life. Ironically, the fight she had been training for ended up having to be cancelled at the last minute, due to troubles Minx had getting back into the United States. I wasn't streaming for the past month because I had to find a place last minute. It does appear that Minx is doing better for herself currently, with her even making amends with creators such as QT Cinderella, though it's unclear how long this will last. Will she be able to stay out of trouble, or does trouble merely find her?